Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So, um, I'm out in the greenhouse today, and uh, what I want to talk to you about is the Celosia Fresh Look Red Series here. Now, um, I'll be explaining uh, what I like about this variety. Um, it comes in multiple different colors, and I'll be telling you as to how to take care of it, how to grow this particular plant, and uh, some of the things that I like about it and uh, some growing tips that I found very helpful for growing celosia. So all that is in uh, today's episode, so stay tuned. And uh, this is a wheat type celosia here. Now there's three different types of celosia. There's a wheat celosia, a plume celosia, and then a crested celosia. And um, the difference between the plume and the wheat type celosia is the flowers here will be different. So um, this one is the wheat type here and it gets beautiful uh, red blooms on it. They're kind of like a reddish pink color. Now um, this did win a gold medal from the AAS which is the All-American Selection and uh, they give awards out to uh, outstanding varieties and um, I believe it was the yellow has also uh, won the award, the uh, Celosia Fresh Look Yellow um, won the award as well. And uh, this variety comes in uh, multiple different colors. You can get a mix of it. Uh, the flowers get about 10 inches, meaning these plumes here have the potential to get 10 inches tall. So um, it's a really nice variety here. Now the plants themselves can get about 12 to 16 inches tall. And uh, you can grow this variety from seed. It takes about 70 to 100 days after you sow your seeds. Now um, if you start your seeds and then you transplant them, um, it will take them from the time that you transplant them out about 70 to 100 days to bloom. Now, um, if they're already blooming when you transplant them out, then they will continue uh, to bloom for you. And um, this variety, up to just about any uh, climate and soil. Now, one thing you want to make sure with your soil, and I'm going to put this in on this because um, Celosia does not like to be in standing water. Uh, Celosia requires well-drained soil but it still likes it moist and it loves the heat so um, this would be a great thing like if you want to plant something beside your driveway or your house Celosia is an excellent candidate for that because it tolerates a lot of heat and it can tolerate some drier conditions but you do want to keep uh, your soil moist on it you just don't want to overwater it So um, if you're starting this from seed, you want to start it about 8 to 10 weeks before your last frost. So uh, before your last frost would be, go ahead and count back about 8 to uh, 10 weeks and then factor in the germination of about 7, some say 7 to 14, 7 to 21 days on it. Now um, I do have videos on my channel for how to start Celosia from seed, so you can check those out. But uh, this is just an absolutely gorgeous variety here. And um, I do plan on actually getting the entire mix of this. Uh, I tried the Fresh Look Celosia, was curious what it looked like. And um, I just love the colors and I love the way that this is blooming. So... Um, I've decided that I'm probably going to get the entire mix now with all the colors in it. And this is a great container plant. It works really good in containers, which is what I'm growing mine in. And this also makes an excellent cut flower.
And one thing I want to point out about this variety, it is, it does give a lot of side branches off. You can see all the little celosias coming off of here. And this is coming off of the same stem. So um, this is an excellent variety for keeping continuous blooms going. Now, from what I've heard, uh, this variety does not need to be deadheaded. Um, now, I'm still uh, experimenting with that to see, because I know some of the other celosias, uh, if you let them go to seed, they stop blooming. But this one here definitely gives more than one bloom. Um, you can see this one here down here is actually coming off of the same plant with uh, this nice plume up top here. Now I'll show you another one that I have growing that's more advanced than this one and you can see all of the side blossoms and how beautiful this is. So you can see this one here it has the bloom up top. Now the top was um, it was damaged somehow so uh, it went more bushier than uh, continuing to grow up. But you can see all the beautiful little side blooms here. And when I cut this, I'm still going to have all of these left. Now this particular variety here, um, it gets about 12 to 16 inches wide. So um, it does get pretty wide for uh, a plant, but I love the fact that it's blooming so much. Um, I've tried different celosia varieties before, and you get maybe like one bloom off of them, and um, they would be a little shorter, but you get like one bloom and then they were done. So I was looking for a variety that would give like the side blossoms off, and that would continuously keep flowering. And the fresh look definitely is doing that for me. And um, it's just an amazing variety that I really enjoy. I am going to keep growing it. And uh, I look forward, you know, to seeing how these do when I cut these blossoms off. Now, you can use this for um, cut flowers, which uh, is what I'm going to be using it for. And this is doing exactly what I need it to do. So if you're looking for a celosia variety that continuously blooms and uh, puts off a lot of really nice side shoots and puts on a really pretty show for you for uh, the summertime, I highly recommend the Fresh Look Celosia. Now uh, this will continue to bloom all through summer and into the fall time. Now uh, one thing with celosia, and I really stress this celosia does not like the cold at all so um, you definitely want to make sure that you set your plants out after the danger of frost has passed uh, one of the biggest issues with celosia is if you get really wet soggy soil and it gets cold you can lose your celosia very easily they're very susceptible to the cold so um, like in the fall time first frost these are going to be done if they were outside. Now, they're growing in my greenhouse here, but um, if these would be growing outside, the first uh, frost that you would get, they would be done. Um, another thing that you want to watch out for with these is root rot and stem rot. And um, again, the root rot can come from overwatering, um, especially like if your soil gets cold. So if you kind of have some cooler um, days coming, you want to keep it a little drier than normal. You don't want to let it wilt. If you let it wilt, it can damage the plants and uh, it can like stun the blooms from what I've seen some or it can um, cause premature flowering. But uh, that's just a few things you want to keep in mind. But uh, Celosia loves full sun. And like I said, if you have a really hot spot that uh, you want to put something at, I highly recommend putting celosia there.
Now you can see here on this bloom, this is like, it's cone shaped right now. But if you look at this one here, it's starting to unfold. And what this will actually do is this will get kind of like a sort of, it, it's going to bloom. And they'll have little blooms on it. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find a flower that's open. Uh, there's one right there. It'll get like little flowers open on it. And um, being that this is a hybrid, it will not seed true. And uh, you'll get some type of a celosia, but I can't say what kind of celosia you'll get if you collect seeds from it or if you let it go to seed. Uh, one thing when growing celosia, they do like to reseed themselves if you let them go that far. So uh, you'll have a lot of little celosias coming up. Well, you can see more here of how the blooms and how uh, the plumes are just unfolding here. And these do have a soft texture to them. It's a very unusual texture that they have to them. And now uh, you can feed these, your celosia plants, about every 7 to 14 days. Um, just a regular all-purpose plant food. Uh, miracle Row works great. Um, if you want to feed your plants. And like I said before, it's a great container plant. If you have an issue with overwatering, um, go ahead and put them in like a clay type container because that's going to allow them to breathe more. It's going to allow the soil to dry out faster. Or um, put them in like a coconut liner basket without the uh, plastic on the inside. And that's going to allow for um, your soil to dry out faster for you. So uh, you shouldn't have the issue with the overwatering and then the root rot and um, all that. And I'll put a link down in the description for uh, some different um, plant foods and containers. So you can check those out. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. That will tell you when I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Bye.